Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocklover, and thank you for joining me here back in the World of a Southern Victory mod. Uh, so last time we were still building ourselves up, World War I basically has started, the Great War. Serbia got screwed over, Bulgaria kind of got screwed over as well as Greece, but mostly Serbia. And France is, well, they're not doing great right now. They are getting hit pretty hard from Germany, even though we do have a few divisions here that have made it to France. Our Mexican divisions have, so far at least, which is pretty nice. Um, right now we're waiting for the United States to go to war with us because they're taking forever to do so. We've got a couple comments as well. Uh, someone suggested that I take the divisions here from Mexico and use them as puppets. Uh, we could. If I need to, I will. But for now, I think it, it's okay if they st stay under Mexico. Um, play as, play the next, like, Southern Victory mod when it comes out later on this year in 2020. I will. I plan on it. I still need to make thumbnails, but I do plan on playing that mod eventually. Um, what's next? Uh, some of my cavalry divisions were the wrong template, so I just switched them over to 40 combo with. These guys down here were pretty good, um, but yeah. Now they're all the same amount, and now we have a bigger deficit of guns. That's why I didn't change them yet, because I knew the deficit would be pretty darn bad. Next up, we shall do construction effort, and oh, that's okay. A lot of these focuses, this stuff is just, it's okay, it's not great. I suppose, though, we could do... Oh, naval doctrine, actually, that's not bad. I want to do... Equipment effort, though, just so we can get just a slight bonus on firearms and infantry equipment and stuff like that. France is doing okay-ish. Russia is not doing super great. They have been pushed back by the Austro-Hungarians and the Germans, but they're still holding in a lot of good places. Not everywhere, but at least France is holding, which is a very nice thing. Head on over here, see if we can hold out up there. Uh, make sure we don't lose any tiles. What's the casualties like so far? Quarter million to half a million. That's not bad. I'm, and we're literally just waiting for the U U.S. to join the war. Because, uh, I mean, I'm pretty much ready. I'm ready to defend our good old country from these Americanos. If they never go to war, that would be really disappointing. Um, we can't justify against them because we can only declare war on a country with the same ideology group without a war goal. Hmm. I don't think that should really be in the game. I mean, maybe, like, keep it in there until the start of the Great War, but... I, because we're both, we both believe in democracy to a degree, we're both democratic at least, it's not really cool that we can't, you know, just kill each other right now. Serbia's called in Japan, well at least we have Japan on our side, that's kind of nice. And we have, oh, oh yeah, that is the Red Arrow Division, good. So some of these are little just Mexican divisions, some of these divisions are divisions I've mingled with my own soldiers, and using a lot of Mexican manpower in the process, so, uh, yeah. Germany is very aggressive, regardless of front. Uh, you guys might want to help out. Japan. I love Japan. We'll see if that does anything. If we start losing convoys, I will send my navy out because we should have the best navy in the world for now. Uh, Christmas truce. Well, it is. So I don't see a Christmas truce here, guys. This will ruin the fighting spirit of our men. Uh, I don't see a Christmas truce. It's all green. <laughs> but it makes for a nice story. Uh, they're retreating. Russia is trying to navally invade Germany. That is some. Um, you have some huevos, man. You have some serious huevos. I would definitely not recommend that, but you know what? You guys do you guys. If anything, I guess if we beat up France first and then go to war with the United States, the regular US, like, wouldn't be too bad. But we do need to get some more manpower. Gotta keep that in mind, too. Because technically, we are at war, so. Uh, you guys want to help out there? Or does anyone need help around there? Germany's going to have an insane amount of casualties before we're done. I'm sure Russia's taking a lot of hits. France has only lost 25,000. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, this is not good. And we're going to probably see some Ottomans uh, join the Central Powers, hopefully. Because this, this is, is... I did put on historical, like I said, kind of yesterday. This is on historical. And yes, I do know I left it on historical. I was just kind of joking around that this doesn't seem very historical with Serbia gone immediately. But, well, you know, it is, it is what it is. And I do need to read the the books by Turtle Dove about the... An alternative timeline where the CSA won. I, just, I need to read them. I know a little bit about the lore, but I do need to read them, so. But thank you for recommending me those, uh, that series, so. Uh, I do have a cup of vanilla decaf coffee here, as we are helping defend our brothers in France. Love it. Actually, what are we building? We're building up some more lines here, which is fine with me. Yeah, you guys... Yeah, I said this yesterday, that the longer they take, the stronger they become. But the stronger our defense can become as well, because all we are lacking right now is guns. And once we hit to like 22 to 2500 artillery pieces, I'm switching out the need for artillery piece, the need for guns with artillery pieces, 
Yeah, Germany. This might not be a really smart idea. Just saying, man. Hey, but it's good for uh, Samuel Rockenbach. Great. Oh, bliss. If they're not going to go to war with us, I'm going to go ahead and train these guys up a little bit more. You probably should be learning stuff, Bliss. Field Marshal Bliss. Let's wait. We have we could do some of that stuff. But it's 1915. Happy 1915, my friends. We're halfway done with that. That's very good. We get 1.07 political power a day. That could be okay, but we don't really need it. Uh, oh! Recognition. Delegitimacy. Huh. Hmm. I, I think France is still the leader of this war, which is fine with me. I don't really care. Public recognition. Exile governments, we don't have any... Mm. I'm going to do this anyways. Cool. Yeah, sure. Oh, we're out of con... Oh, that's not good. We actually need to make some convoys. I don't think I've ever really ever used that too much. If we're not even building anything for now, just go and do that. Build a bunch of convoys. Nice. Increase conscription. Hey! Oh, we already... We manually chose that, so that auto went down. Oh, I could have done that as a focus. Whoops. Oh, well, after 1916, Black Soldiers. Okay, that sounds cool to me. Love them, love them. Uh, military factories, yeah, that'd be pretty good. Let's go for a land doctrine. Doctrine effort three, yes, please. Oh, we can't do that. Oh, we're still doing that one. Oops, my bad. I mean, America's not in the war, so they can still transport guys over, but we can still maybe find some convoys. Please find convoys. Daily change, not looking good. Hourly change, not looking great. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, oh, someone's trying to attack here. That is a little crazy. Well, how's that time go on? We're, you guys are still in the... Why are you still in the ocean, man? You guys, just just come home. Come home, guys. Alright. Oh, wow, they actually did naval invasions. Well, France has landed in Bremen, or, or trying to get to Bremen. Uh, I would recommend getting the port first, because you're going to die there. And UK, you did a great job navally invading, but you didn't get a goddamn port. That's not very smart. Oh, they canceled the land lease? That sucks. We need a couple more guns and support equipment, though. The Germans are very, very aggressive. And that's okay with me. So, according to the... Historically speaking, you know, this is an alternative timeline. Is it... When is America supposed to join the fight? This looks like we could really actually probably help. There you go. Get some better strength divisions in there. We might be able to crack them. I want everyone to do that, please. Yeah, we should be able to win here. Defense isn't too bad. Good. Push them back. Push them back over. We can get some more French territory back. And if we do end up filling out all these armies with soldiers, I will take out the special Mexican divisions. And put them into their own division again, just... Or maybe throw them over here, too. Just so we have a, a really good defense over here. Losses, they just run into our lines like crazy. I guess it's a little historical. Equipment effort three, good. Let's grab doctrine e effort three. For better land uh, doctrine research. <clears throat> good, we actually won. And there goes the Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman-German alliance is ratified. I knew that would happen eventually. That is not looking good. But hopefully Italy joins our side. We have India here still, which is nice. Yeah, you guys, be prepared. Italy should join us, which will open up a new front. Oh, Montenegro is still here. That's a little surprising. Please don't attack, though. Please, that is a suicidal effort. That is not bueno. Oh, hello. Uh, Theodore Roosevelt is becoming, or looking like he's getting very, very aggressive. Which is good for us. Yeah, we're definitely trying to make more, um, things here. Yeah, we need more resources. Oh, because we have no convoys, that's why. At least we can do that. That makes it a little nicer. We can actually build stuff, which is incredibly important. Good, good. Yeah, we're almost, we're getting there, we're getting there. Because if I were to do this, I know they're only taking combat with, we would have... 9,400 in storage, we'd have minus 1,500, which is not ideal. I could do this, though, as a stepping stone. Stepping stone. There you go. So we have these guys, and then I could throw this on here, and say, like, a few armies. Just go ahead and switch over. All of you guys, 
go this way. This way, we hit this a little bit more, and our deficit of guns should do a, maybe a little better? Maybe? Maybe. That's called... Oh, I thought they were already at war with us. Now I got even bigger problems down there, Russia. Good. Second Mormon... Oh, hello. Well, the USA and CSA locked in a bitter conflict. The Mormons of Utah have taken the opportunity to rise up against the federal government, declaring themselves the independent nation of Deseret. The Mormons have stormed several federal forts and armories in Utah, slaughtering their garrisons and taking the armed stockpiles. Now they have barricaded themselves inside their cities, preparing for the inevitable wrath of the U.S. This could be useful. I want to invite you into the faction, man. Oh, come ye saints. That looks amazing. Plus 20% defense. Lucas Taylor. Oh, man, that looks awesome. You got eh, quite a few guys. You got your little honeycombs. Mormon fighters. The Jaws wants to fight us. Whatever. Cool. You guys are like that. Go and convert over. We will We will need enough guns. We will gain uh, only 100 infantry equipment, which is really not much at all. Um, State guards looking pretty good. That's actually really, really nice. Couple more guys. Good. Throw them right there. You guys are good. You guys. Switch over to. War will be upon us. And we will save some manpower too by doing this. So we save about a thousand guns that we need, but we did lower this by 700, which is fine. Whatever. Whatever. We just don't have the industry for everything that we need. Literally. We need more space. We really need more space down here. Come on. Go to war with me. Come on. Come on. Hey, so, Turkey's got the Jaws, and Desert has joined France. Good. Can't go to war yet. Oh, hello. Um, has America been in the line a little bit, to a degree? I see a lot of Austro-Hungarians and Germans guarding the border. Um, please let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. Oh, we're doing well over here. I'm not worried about this at all because the Germans are just going to run into our lines like crazy. Come on, come on. Mormon brothers. Yes. So our generals have recently proposed the idea of smuggling arms and ammunition to the Mormons, rebels, and Utah. If we do it, we could prolong the fighting and possibly give us the advantage we need. On the other hand, if we don't don't those guns and ammo, we could be using our own front. I'll uh, give them some guns. Let's go, boys. It's time to whip them Yankees. If we can. It's a lot of green for now, but that's going to happen every single time you begin the attack. Uh, the Americans, well, they're, they're led by... They're mostly defending with Austro-Hungarians, which is very, very weird to say. My goal is just push if we can first. Oh, we're winning down in New Mexico. Good. And with these guys. Get up to here. Send one guy. Pick you. Come this way. And I want to find convoys. A lot of convoys around here if we can. Good. We're going to suffer quite a few casualties early, which is fine with me. I know, I know. Go ahead, hold that way. Come this way. Help, beat him up here. We don't want to fight over the river. That's a suicidal idea. Don't fight over the river. Don't fight over the river. You're crazy. You're nuts. What did I just say? Oh my goodness, you know we're going to lose guns anyways. Just move this way if you can, come on. Well, hopefully Canada's in the war too. Maybe not. No, they're not fighting the Americans yet. If we can get up to Deseret, that would be really nice. Come on. If not, that's okay. It doesn't look like the deck's going that well. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. And go ahead and do that. The attacks here need to stop. Y'all crazy. Too crazy for my liking. You crazy. Go that way. If we're losing this way, go ahead and hold. Go and hold. If you can win that way, I mean, I'm kind of okay with that. But it looks like you're probably not going to win. Good, we beat him here. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Look at that. Holy cow. I told you. By focusing on naval adoption, we can smack the hell out of the enemy's navy. 
We did lose a battleship, a pre-war, the CSS Virginia, which sucks. A couple of destroyers and a convoy, but we did sunk, sunk, sink five enemy subs, ten enemy light cruisers, twelve enemy destroyers, eight enemy battleships, including the pride of the fleet, and four heavy cruisers. Now that's what I call naval warfare. Benson, you're at level four now, which is great. We're going to do us visibility and do that just in case. Good, good, good. At this point, I'm going to maneuver our horses around so that we can maybe get down here a little better. Good, move in. This is going to give the Mormons a better chance. Come on, please let us go to... Oh, Canada is has been called in as well. Where are the American divisions? We're still trying to win down here, too. It's going okay. Austro-Hungarians need to get walloped hard, very harshly. Okay, get up there, guys. We don't want to get cut off. Losses for us are 27,000. Losses for the Americans are only 8,000, but, you know, it takes time to kill enemies off. Someone come to Phoenix. Jeffersonians? Oh, I did rename some of these divisions, too, so... Not all of them, but some of them. Is Mexico in the war? Yeah, they are. Good. At least we have a little bit of action here. It's kind of nice. Uh, Stand up one that way. Then that way. Good. Ah, coffee's always nice to have. I guess if you're about to win there, that's kind of okay. Keep attacking. Alright, good. We got our guys up here. Keep holding, guys. Keep holding. There's only two guys against... Oh, these guys might be 40 combat with. They might be. I doubt it, but they could be 40 combat with. No wonder we can't attack very well. But that's okay. Cancel at least. That's not good. You guys definitely need to repair. Oh, my lord. Go ahead and do that. We got a couple more convoys, which is nice. Keep it up. We've taken a little bit of West Virginia. Back. Actually, really, it's just Virginia. At this point, Virginia is a uh, evil state, as some might say. More divisions. Mexico. How, how are these guys doing? These guys could be doing pretty darn well. They're sort of on the offensive, which is a little surprising. Could you guys help win here, maybe? Maybe? Yeah, you might be able to. Make sure you guys move up this way. Maybe. We'll see what happens. The U.S. is pushing into Canada, which I really don't like. We'll see what happens. Good. Push them out. Push them this way. At least we got Phoenix. That's nice. We're probably going to lose that, which really sucks. But whatever. Get those horses in there. A couple more Mexican divisions. Love it. Help the guys out in France. Because we can hold the line, I think, pretty much. We lost that tile, but whatever. Uh, give them hell, boys. Give them hell. Force attack. You should be able to win with five 40 combat with divisions. You should be able to. Good. We gotta link up with the Mormons. Good. Push them out. Push them out. And now we gotta slow down our offensives because we're out of artillery, guns, stuff like that. Don't worry about attacking. Hang on for now. If we lose Canada, we lose Canada. So be it. It makes things a little bit more difficult, but that's okay. Uh, that being said, I will probably... How are you not winning? Uh, it's probably because they're 40 combat with divisions. The U.S. loves their 40 combat with divisions. All you guys hold, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, wait for them to counterattack us. That's pretty much it. Or, I send you guys down here, and then I'll do this. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to start throwing these guys over here, too, too, because we need them. You don't look like you're really moving over here, man. Motorized ambulance. Take this one off. There you go. Uh, can you guys please move over here? You can't do anything over there. You might as well go, go this way. Come on. 
Oh, and we got some of this. That's good. More defense. That's kind of nice. I guess we got this little area back as well. Oh, we're gonna need to spend more time building stuff up. That's pretty much it. The Mormons are getting smashed a bit, which is not good. Doctrine effort three. Very good. Canada's killed most of the Americans. A little surprising, but we're only gonna. Oh, we got gas. Let's get some armament effort three. That'd be nice. Any other stuff here? Yes. Research speed 1915. Additional barrel prototypes? Yes, we do want to get some barrel prototypes. Uh, yeah, so we need that one. I love barrels. We might consider naval invading as well. I'm thinking we, I might just go take New York. Or Boston. That wouldn't be bad. Bangor? No, there's no port up there. We could naval invade from this side too. That wouldn't be terrible. Um, New York might be the best to take, just because we can probably establish a good waterway, waterway headway around here. I could use sacrifice my cavalry to do that as well. Well, let's see what happens when we do this. I said we should be able to do this before, but we'll see what happens. Deep defense, good. And let's grab light support. Soft attack. We can't do this one because we. Going up early, heavy barrel one. Go we'll soft attack, that's fine with me. Come on. The Mexican soldiers on this front are doing pretty well. Still. Go ahead and help out here. Another division, throw them on the line. Glorious Mexican soldiers. Okay, seriously, you can't win? Come on, it's just over a little river. Come on, y'all, oh, all. Oh. Break over the river. Break, break, break. Come on, you're almost there. You defeated another division. They literally have like no organization. 1.2. 1.1. Thank God, we got it. And that's okay, they're there. Go this way. Yep. There you go. Go that way. That's fine with me. We got enough cavalry divisions to help hold the line. Uh, they're not really attacking me anywhere, which really kind of sucks. But that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, I don't. I really don't want to try to an, try and attack unless we have more uh, man, uh, more guns. Good. Stretch us out a little bit. That's okay. If that's the case, and they don't want to do anything, we'll just go to LA. And you know what? I'm gonna grab you guys. Go there. We will siege him down. Yeah, come attack me. See what happens. See what happens. Oh, and yeah. Occupied territories. There we go. Oh, did we put military police on those horses yet? Yes, we did. That's good. That's very good. Beat him up. And you guys will be starving soon enough. We're not going to do anything yet. But that's okay. Hold. Just hold for now. Good. Yeah, throw more guys in here. Yeah, that's going to be a great idea, especially if we can convoy raid you. The Deseret's slowly losing back. That's okay. Anywhere along the line. Uh, let's see. These guys might not be 40 combo with, but they, the AI likes using like 30-something, 30 35, 37 sometimes, at times. Let's see what happens. On defense, we should do okay, though. We should do okay. Yeah, keep throwing more guys in here. Yeah. And even though I know they have a victory point right there, which we really need to take, that's too much supply that we they can, that they can put in there. We definitely need to be able to convoy raid them, but for some reason it's not working. Hmm. Western Seaboard, why is that? Intel efficiency, enemy supremacy. Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's cut down the number of divisions we're making because we just want to make them bigger. There we go. Pop out with the stockpile a little bit. Hey, we've got plenty of artillery, though. That's good. Plenty of artillery. You guys are looking great over here. We got a little bit more of Belgium back. Now, supplies not doing great around here, which is fine. Um, yeah. Hopefully, Germany will lose, and then we can... Oh, man, they're really killing the Mormons. Attack here. Seriously? I mean, come on. This, this doesn't make any sense. How many... 
how much how much supply do they get? Forty-four. Local naval base limits. Hmm. Well, we're kind of stuck. Not gonna lie, we're kind of stuck because twenty combat width versus however them however many they have. Not really bueno for us. All right, with that in mind, do that. Go ahead and start doing that a little bit. Get more light cruisers. Canada is holding actually kind of okay though. Well, maybe not in the center. And the East Coast, they're doing pretty well. Doing pretty darn well. Uh, yeah. Hmm. This doesn't make any sense. I mean, how do you get this much su supply? Well, I guess some of these divisions aren't really that big and don't require. Oh well, well, hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. Yeah, this doesn't make any sense. How are we losing supply and they're not? Subsidiary carrier rule. Go and do that one next. All right, we're gonna have to make these guys huge. Uh, you might as well duplicate it. Chonkers, there we go. The big boys. Uh, throw those guys on. We're gonna need them. Throw those guys. We're gonna need them too. Cool. What do we got here? What do we got? So, maybe a little bit more artillery. A little more artillery attack. That sounds pretty good to me. Let's switch this over to from these chonkers to this. Yes. Good, good, good. Hey, Mexico. You know what? I will take that just because we need them really badly. But I will also build stuff in your lands now. So make sure... Oh, well. There you go. So you don't become too rebellious towards us. And... Uh, go that by one. Alright, we want some chonkers. I'll probably put them on the... Mm, where's the best place to attack? Assault from... Yeah, Austria's got to die. I'm going to make these guys some chonkers. We don't have the uh, support equipment or the infantry equipment to do this, but we're getting better. We're getting a lot better. Good. How's this looking? Hey, France is actually pushing back a little bit more, maybe. We were able to take that spot. How devastating is this for... Ah, Mexico's called it now. Um, Actually, does that do anything around here? Not really too much. Uh... Ottoman Empire. Germany's lost way too many guys. Armament after three. German Zeppelin campaign. That does not sound very good for them. Anything over here? Nope. Let's go ahead with trench warfare focus. Infantry weapons. Eh, construction after two. Doesn't even give you two. It just gives you one more. Which is a little disappointing. Or by one more. That's good. Plenty of manpower. Actually, these guys are attacking and they're somewhat winning. Russia is slowly losing, but slowly doing okay as well. Um, you guys, Samuel Rockenbach, Bliss. I mean, they're learning. Deseret is holding out very okay-ish as well. You guys come right here. Ah, a little. I know this is World War One. The ships aren't super great, but they shouldn't be, be able to get supply through here. Yes, we do have this open here. Oh boy, Black Uprising. So, with the CSA preoccupied with the war against the USA, the blacks of the South have taken the chance to rise up against their oppressors across all across the South. Various black social short republics have sprung into existence, declaring themselves independent of the CSA. The CSA has denied the legitimacy of the socialist republics and has mobilized local militias to deal with these insurrections. Cool. Hey, Mexico, I need your divisions now. I'm going to request a couple forces, maybe. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't know why they're all in the water, but whatever. I'm going to let this sit here for now. Um... That does not seem very good for us. Alright, Smith. See what you can do. Uh, you guys come here too. See what happens. The longer I wait to do this, the better for us. So. And I do that with a smile on my face. And you guys, please get down to... Uh, I'm not sure where they're going to rise up. Maybe Memphis? Because I will divert soldiers away. Um, this encirclement is a pain in the butt. Like, seriously? And how many days do we have until I have to say something about this? Ten days. We got we got a couple days. Let's let our guys get over here first, maybe. And then maybe click on this. They will pay? Of course they will pay. Eight days. The game is fairly laggy. We are lacking some major infantry equipment, which really is garbo. Really, really bad. But I can't build anything more here. Which is really bad as well. But at least the Mormons are holding out somewhat. The Canadians are actually kind of holding out here, which is actually pretty good. House America is still probably very strong. Break the trusts. Well, you guys are very aggressive. 
cancel. Oh no, not cancel the unlease. Well, hey, the guys are over here already, so that's good. We're ready to kill you off if it happens. And there we go. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be in this part of the south, just because. Um, historically, that's oh wow, plus 25 percent. God dang. Uh, well, regardless, I will be right back. All right, my friends, sorry about that, but this is where we're at. It's now September 30th, 1915. I have pretty much just, you know, let time go on just to see what would happen. Um, I mean, the U.S. has lost more casualties to the Canadians, which they have taken off most of, you know, Canada. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it right now. Uh, they've taken half a million casualties, casualties, which is nice. Desert is still just barely here. Uh, the U.S. has started to attack me a little bit here in Oklahoma. Um, really not much has happened. Honestly, really not much has happened. We're still defending against the Germans in Germany, or Belgium. And we've decided to maybe push into Brussels because they just killed themselves on the line. Three million losses. And I did double check, actually. I wanted to see whether or not... Oh. Uh, uh, the U.S. had, like, 40 combat width divisions, or any division that's more than 20 combat width. None of them are. They're all 20 combat width. Or they're, like, 2 or 8 or something like that. So at max, they only have 2 combat... or. 20 combat with them, just like me, so. Soft attack, not really good in this mod. Which is okay. Um, also, for some reason, like, we had that event with the, like, Black Socialist Uprisings. I, I don't know. I don't know where it never spawned, or something, it just never happened. So instead, I have all these Mexican soldiers, I'm sending them this way to help defend the line, so I can move my cavalry out of here. Because I would very much like to move my cavalry out of here. So I can move them and do stuff with them elsewhere. Oh, but we got thank you to move. There. Be good. Please do not let them move. Please hold them in place. So we don't get that guy encircled and destroyed. There you go. Go ahead and hold. Thank you for... Uh, for your service. Thank you for your service. Yeah, there you go. Words. Hard. Difficult. Smith. You got nothing of interest. It's fine with me. Just hold. So, now, with our cavalry. Freed up. We can sign for a naval invasion. We could help with the, the Canadians up north, but that might ruin supply, maybe? They do have a port up here, which isn't bad. There's not too many Americans up there. Uh, I do want to try naval invasion, though. Let's see what happens. Come from Norfolk. Go straight for New York, if we can. Uh, I'd like at least... Oh, do we not have any... Mm. Mm. Oh, what are, you, what are you guys doing? What the heck are you guys doing? No. No, please. Hang on. Hang on there. Um, let's look at research. Or is it under... No? We get five. It does say... Okay, there you go. Okay, for some reason I thought it was gonna, wasn't going to work or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So it's air support, artillery. we got so many guys at artillery. Let's go with Smith. Cool, cool, cool. The desert's going to die, but that's pretty normal. Guys, why? Just go around them. Go around, man. Cool. If that's the case, I do want to reform the front line just a little bit so make sure that everyone is approximately where they need to be. As we try a naval invasion. Now, I would like to attack here, but that'd be pretty risky. R risky. 1915 presidential election. So the 1915 presidential election is here between the Whig candidate Gabriel Sims and radical liberal Dor Doroteo Arango. This election is a critical one. Leaders of the nation will face challenges like no other and ultimately mold the Confederacy's future. Well then. Well, I'll probably go with the Whigs. Probably. Deseret has capitulated. Oh, who the heck are you? Oh, and we do have the Black Rebellion, okay? Oppressed for decades and inflamed by Marxist teachings of blacks, the CSA often rise up and declare several black socialist republics across the CSA. Although there's little doubt that the CSA will crush rebellion, it will cost them valuable men and supplies, hampering the war effort. Oh, I didn't realize it was just a national spirit. I thought they were actually going to rise up. Um, we did lose the organization. Oh, hello! Look at the. Oh, my goodness. 
Uh, please don't lose. If that's a... Oh, you guys are moving around. I really like them being here just so that we can attract, like, their attacks. If you're not going to be able to win, go ahead and come this way. I don't want to lose air. Uh, well, at least Americans are attacking. At least they're doing something. Maybe here, too. That's fine. We don't need to win. No, 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 no. That's okay. Uh, Silbert, infantry expert. Good. Good. I love the infantry expert one. Help us defend our lines a little bit better. Should the 1916 Olympic Games be canceled? Well, some might say so, yes. I don't want to lose that part of uh, Missouri. Still not going to lose it. Nope, nope, nope. No, 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 guys, guys, hang out. No, don't worry about it. Just just defend for now. Just defend. Because America still has a ton of population left. Increase the military budget. How American of you. Yeah, tons of guys, tons of divisions. And we did construction effort three. Let's go ahead and do this. Now, we have some black uh, socialist uprisings. Uh, like I said earlier, though, this doesn't necessarily... I don't necessarily believe in this stuff, but, you know, the black population has proven themselves to be cool. But maybe a little bit of a threat to the war effort. We must isolate them in camps until the war is over. Ugh. Oh, man, I'm pulling an FDR, but with a different racial group this time. Hmm. It is what it is. That's all I can say about it. It is what it is. Cool. Awesome. Let's see. Man, they're, they're definitely attacking me. Let's double check Europe. Oh, we got that done nice. Battleship organization. Keep that high, high, high. Hey, we're actually trying to push into Amsterdam. That's kind of cool. Not going to lie. That's kind of cool. Four. Look how weak these guys are. That's so incredibly weak. We can defend so well. The supply is pretty bad around here. Can we get over there? That'd be nice. Also, I did want to take the time to have a little pause in the middle of the video, or I guess after half an hour, just so we could grab some Mango Maui Black Tea. Good, good stuff. You guys should be able to hold. Oh, but you guys probably had that modifier, which ruined your strength. Throw in some fresh soldiers. Uh, take out two guys. Recycle them. That's fine. You can retreat there. We threw in the two new guys, so that's okay. And you can come back immediately. Man, they are hitting us very hard. Incredulously hard. Yeah, if you guys come back this way. Cool. Well, another Mexican division will throw you over there, just in case. Uh, wow, they're really beating... How are you beating me up? They must have air superiority, right? No. That doesn't make any sense. I'm, I'm hoping it's costing them quite a bit. Cause it is costing us quite a bit, too. But if we have to defend over the river again, so be it. You know. Just normal things. Oh, and they just all lost. Okay, then. Yeah, that's pathetic. Uh, no, you're stuck there. You know what? Come, come, come fight me. Come see what you can do down here in the south. There's not going to be any Sherman March to the Sea, I guarantee you that. Guys, don't worry about it. We'll get it back. Just give it time. Thank you, guys. We've lost 102,000. They've lost a lot of guys. they lost mostly to Canada. We've got a quarter million, though. though. That's not bad. I would do much better on infantry equipment, too. That's actually kind of nice. Uh, yeah, just, you know what? Let them attack us. Let them attack us. You guys, let's try this. It's probably not going to go well, but whatever. Time for a sip of tea. Pretty good. We probably can't navally invade and be successful, but we'll see what happens. If not, that's okay. They actually have divisions on each port, which is interesting. I might just come up here and help defend them. Or come up to Canada. Actually, yeah, supplies pretty bad up there in Canada. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're really winning. Navy invading up there. Maybe not great. Yeah. Their strength, though. Not good. Not good. Is it going to get any lower, please? Oh, we got some... G ah! Look at that. M plus 25% defense. We could get the Brody helmet, but I don't have enough guns anyways to, you know, produce that. And they threw in more guys. Yeah. How is their strength not getting lower at all? Well, that sucks. Go ahead and pause. You know, it's worth a try, right? It's always worth a try natally invading. <gasps> Do we finally found one Austro-Hungarian convoy here? Okay. Ah, good, we got the barrel prototypes. It is almost 1916. Get some of that. That'd be good. And now, since they are attacking us quite harshly, there might be ways we can 
Oh my gosh, look at some of their lines. Yeah, if that's the case, you know what? The United States has joined the German Empire in the German-Mongolian War. Um, I don't remember Mongolia ever signing up to be a part of this war, but okay. Alright. Where do I send them? Uh, I'm thinking right, maybe right here so we can break out. I'm up to the left here, to the west. No, I don't want to find hills, mountains. That's pretty bad. So, maybe right here, actually. They love this spot. If I can break out north and take more of Missouri, great. Please find more ships to blow up. Please, we have the fuel for it. We found one so far in this entire war. How are, is Rockenbach doing? Hey, we actually got Antwerp. Look at that. Nice. And the soldiers again are going to go bye-bye. We're getting Belgium back, boys. We're getting Belgium back. Even though they they were defeated here a little bit. But we're doing okay. Hey, look at that. That's beautiful. They can go... Th Netherlands, you are com complicit in this war, aren't you? You're absolutely complicit. Wow. That is not cool, man. That is not cool. I'm looking at this army XP, though. It's very nice. Anyone else have upgrades? Yes. No. Guy? Yes. James? Yes. The Ranger as well. I like that. You can be over here, too. You can hug up against any, against each other. Manpower's looking good. Guns are looking pretty darn decent. Uh, let's go ahead and deploy, like, half of you guys. Oh, sterilization. Cool. Go with half. We're gonna do the stepping stone. It's gonna cost us more artillery, but that's okay. And we got sterilization. Now let's get some more construction speed. Now, factory repairs, okay. More max factories in the state. We have to have that one. I need to do more barrel stuff. Wink, wink, barrel. A new ruler for Egypt. Pharaoh, Kivda, Sultan. What's next? King? It ended foreign uh, authority over Egypt. That's kind of cool. Nice. Uh, God dang it, Germany. Stop attacking me. Even Russia is like... We're not doing too bad in Russia either. Yeah. How is Asia looking? Is anything going on in Asia whatsoever? Most people are in the Entente, so... No, not really. You guys are holding out kind of here. Oh, actually. I eh, got the Entente right there, too. Not bad. Germany. Austria, Hungary. Even the U.S. You're just murdering yourselves on my line and the Canadian line, but mostly my line now. Which, hey man, you keep it up. Y'all keep it up. You're doing, you're doing the Lord's work. Right now, I would like to break through here. Maybe we could take Springfield, because if we take Springfield right now, we could, um, you know, need less divisions to garrison the line, which would be good. And let's get another research slot. An extra one whole research slot. A beautiful thing, my friends. Alright, these guys are looking pretty weak. The longer we wait, the stronger they become. Godspeed, Mason Patrick. You should be able to break him. Yeah, we're fighting in the hills into Tennessee, right? Oh, no, this is Missouri. Yeah, we should be able to win. We definitely should be able to win. 56% strength. 84, come on. Why did the horses not work? Hmm. I want Mason to lead the charge. That's why I sent the tanks. The tanks. The uh, cavalry in first. But we are winning. Slowly but surely, we are winning in this battle. Um, yeah. Come on. Come on. 88. Don't leave me at 88. I don't like 88. They're not attacking me anywhere else. They really want Ottawa. Montreal. Montreal. I think they already have Ottawa. Yep. They have to Toronto. Ottawa. Yep. They already have Ottawa. Uh, man, these pretty good Mexican soldiers, even though they have quite a few supply issues right now. Um, I'm going to actually put you guys back here so we don't have too many supply issues. Because guns, well, we're doing much better on guns now. Artillery is still kind of lacking. Good. Get over here so we can start spreading out a little bit more. And can you guys go come up this way when you're done? That actually might be really helpful. Cost 27 and a half. We're almost there. Look how weak they are getting. Come on, push. It's a little bit harder. Just squeeze them. Just squeeze those Americans a little harder. Just a little bit more, more of a squeeze. Ah, there you go. Good. They attack us. We're going to immediately attack them back. Do that. Half of you guys coming this way too. T's pretty good. Come on, come on. You got this. Don't, 
Don't pansy out. Come on, Seabert. Let's give him a commando. That's kind of cool. Break that way if you can, too. Wait, what the heck? No, everyone together for victory. That's, well, at least that's what the DLC said. Together for victory. If they were lying, they might have been. I don't know. You do that, and then one of you guys do that. Actually, I will probably return a lot of these divisions to Mexico. We don't really need them here. I could use them. I was a little disappointed that there was actually no real black uprising. I was like, what's going on, man? I actually would have been really cool to see, but, you know, whatever. A thousand guns out. Not bad, not bad. Ships are going, coming along okay-ish. We got some more convoys. Always good. All right, Horace, you didn't... You weren't able to bust through there just yet. But maybe you will be able to now. Let's do that over here. Hold. The Irish Rebellion, an interesting turn of events. And they, of course, join the Central Powers. All right, well, whatever. Help out, help out. Well, Ireland, you own Dublin. Hmm. That's not good. Then again, that's not good either. And if that's the case, I'd rather honestly just send you to Canada at this point to defend against these guys. Oh, boy. The Republic of Quebec is born. Uh, wow. Wow. That does not look bueno. Hey, we got it. Nice. Oh, man, can we get to St. Louis? Please let me go to St. Louis. Please, 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 please. We can maybe build up some infrastructure there. I know this video's gone on for quite a while, but that's okay. Oh, no. Oh, you god dang Americans. We all want St. Louis, but I guess that's that's where we're going to end today's episode. If you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow after I play a little bit of this off-screen once again. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.